Hi, everyone, and welcome back to English for You. I'm Erin, and I'm Elsie, and we are learning about the story of the monkey's paw. So let's just recap a little bit here and、uh, find out what happened in day one. So, a man called Sergeant Major Morris, he's obviously in the military, is visiting his friend Mr. White. Mr. and Mrs. White、mm -hmm. are a retired couple who lived with their adult son. Herbert. That's right.、Yeah. Okay. So, Mr. White, Mr. White, and his family are sort of visiting with、uh, Sergeant Major Morris here, and Morris is telling the Whites about some tales from his time in India, and he tells them about a certain interesting one. A monkey's paw.、Mm. Okay, so Mr. White asks him to tell him a tale about this monkey's paw. That's right. Because Morris said, "Oh, this is really a magic monkey paw." So、right. this story must be really good. But I cannot tell you. Yeah, he says, "I don't really want to tell you this story." But he finally does, and he takes out the monkey's paw from his pocket, and he starts telling the story. And what does he tell them? He tells the whites that the paw can grant three wishes,、mm -hmm. but that the wishes bring bad things, not good. You know, he actually hates this paw so much that he throws it into the fire. Mr. White saves the paw from the fire, though,、mm -hmm. and decides to keep it. Well, <laughs> Mora says, "Okay, if you want this paw, you keep it, but I'm gonna leave. <laughs> don't say I didn't tell you that it was going to bring bad things." Right. So he says he warns them again: "Don't use it. Don't make those wishes. Only bad things will happen." But we didn't find out what happened at the end of day one yesterday. That's because we're going to find out right now what happens. Reading. The monkey's paw. The next day, Herbert suggests that his father wish for two hundred pounds. That's the exact amount Mr. White needs to finish paying off his house. Foolishly, Mr. White ignores Morris's warning. When nothing happens, though, the Whites think that Morris made the story up. Disappointed, Herbert leaves for work at the factory. Later. There's a stranger standing outside the White's door, inviting the guest in. Mrs. White wonders if he has come to grant her husband's wish. The man, a messenger from the factory, has bad news. However, after getting caught in the factory's machines, Herbert has passed away. As a gesture of goodwill, Herbert's boss has sent them a check. Worth two hundred pounds. A few days after Herbert's death, Mrs. White orders her husband to wish Herbert back to life. Though he refuses at first, Mr. White eventually relents. A few minutes later, they hear a loud bang on their door. Before Mrs. White can open it, Mr. White grabs the paw and quickly makes another wish. Opening the door. Mrs. White finds nothing there. All right. Today's article starts with the next day. So Morris is gone now. It's the next morning, and it says here the next day Herbert suggests that his father wish for two hundred pounds. Oh, I guess Herbert has been planning to use the paw to make wishes. This father Herbert asked his father to wish. 要两百英镑 It's about eight thousand and two dollars. That's right. Suggest that somebody do something. 这个词的这个片语的意思呢，是建议某人做某事。那 wish 之所以可以是原形动词，放在这个。A father 的后面的原因是呢，前面本来就有 should 这个助动词，只是被省略掉了。But I don't understand、mm -hmm. why two hundred pounds. Yeah, why not? If you're gonna wish for money, why not wish for a thousand yeah, pounds or wish more, a million pounds? But right. There is an answer to your question, Elsie, and it says here in the article. 
That's the exact amount Mr. White needs to finish paying off his house. Ah.、Oh. Mm. Now, when you pay something off or you pay somebody off, you give them all the money that you owe them or all the money you owe for that thing. So, for example, when you buy something big like a car or a house, you often pay money over several years instead of all at once. Now, when You do that, you can say you are paying it off. Here's an example of that exact thing. I got a new phone when I signed up with Junghua Telecom, but I have to pay it off over two years. To pay something off 就是还清某事物的钱 Mr. White needs two hundred pounds to pay off his house. 他需要还还清这个房子的贷款 Right. So once he pays that money, he owns his house completely. It、right. won't, won't belong to anybody else. And we find out that Mr. White is probably going to make the wish. It says here, <laughs> foolishly,、Ooh. Mr. White ignores Morris's warning. Foolishly,、mm. 愚蠢的他就这个样子、mm -hmm. 忽视了 Morris 之前给他的警告 Bad things are going to happen. That's right. So he's being a bit of a fool here. That's the noun form. A fool is sort of a person who does silly things because they're not really thinking about it. So we're gonna find out what happens later. First, let's talk about what Mr. White actually does. He ignores Morris's warning. When you ignore something, this verb means you don't pay attention to that thing or that person on purpose. Now, even if you know the information or you know that a person wants to tell you something, you don't listen to it or you pretend it's not true. For example, the naughty students ignored the teacher's request to sit down. They didn't listen to her, and they kept playing. Ignore 这个动词是忽视 So Morris was trying really hard to warn them,、mm -hmm. but Mr. White chooses to ignore his warning. That's right. Now, a warning, this noun, is something that you write or you say to tell another person that something dangerous or bad could happen. Now, often you see warnings on signs on the road. They can be messages like "be careful" or say some, or another warning could be a message like "don't touch that; it's very hot." That's maybe a warning that you say. Here's an example of a warning that、uh, you can read. This coffee cup has a warning on it. It says "careful, very hot." Warning 这个名词呢是警告提醒。那如果你拿掉字尾的 i n g， 你会看到原形动词是 warn w a r n， 在我们前一天的文章有出现过。So after they wished for two hundred pounds,、mm -hmm. what happens? Well, nothing. What? Ah,、uh, it says here when nothing happens, though the whites think that Morris made the story up. Okay, so. We're trying to explain here what what they think. So they think Morris made the story about the monkey's paw up. Now, when you make something up, you pretend that something is true so that you can trick someone. Now, the whites think that Morris's story is not true and that he's just trying to trick them. For example. Fred didn't finish his homework on time, so he made up an excuse to tell his teacher. To make something up, 或者是 to make up something， 代表的是捏造、虚构某件事情。那我们文章说的 make the story up 就是捏造、虚构故事。那例句说到的 make up an excuse，、mm. 代表就是捏造谎言。So Aaron, do you think Morris made the story up? I'm not sure yet. I'm、I、not think, sure either. Hmm. I mean, I don't really believe in magic, so maybe. But maybe he did, or yeah, maybe he didn't. But we'll see as the story goes maybe on. Maybe bad things haven't come. All right. So right now, the whites all believe that Morris is just making things up. He's not telling the truth, and it says here, disappointed, Herbert leaves for work at the factory. 
Okay, so he goes to work as usual. That's right. Okay, so he's not feeling. He's just kind of like, ah,、oh, whatever. Yeah,、okay. I'm going to work. I wanted two hundred pounds to just appear in front of me, but whatever. Okay, and so he's at work, and later on in the day, something happens. It says later. There's a stranger standing outside the White's door. Oh, 那我们这边看到了这个句型呢，它是 there 加上 be 动词，再加上一个名词片语，表示呢某种人事物的存在。那名词片语的后方可以接上现在分词，或者是过去分词来修饰人事物的状态。那如果是第一种。加上现在分词的话呢，表示的是主动态。就像我们的文章说的 ，There's a stranger standing outside the white door. 陌生人站在那，那是要个主动的动作。那如果是被动的话呢，我们说过用过去分词，对不对？来给同学们一个例句哦。There are three people killed in the car accident. Killed 这边就是一个过去分词，表示被动。Okay, so there's a person standing outside, Mr. and Mrs. White. They don't know him, but you know it's back in the old days. So she's going to invite the guest in. She it says here, inviting the guest in. Mrs. White wonders if he has come to grant her husband's wish. So she's. Feeling a little bit excited, or he has come to hurt them or bring bad news. She has no idea. No idea. Yet. Yeah, it's just a a random stranger standing outside her door. So she's about to find out. Though it says here, the man, a messenger from the factory, has bad news. However, now. Let's find out what a messenger is before we talk about the bad news. A messenger. This noun is a person who brings messages, packages, or important papers or news to people. Now we don't see messengers very often anymore. Now that we all have smartphones and computers, in the past, however, messengers would travel from one person to another to tell them some important news. Here's another example. Could you ask the messenger to bring these papers to our other office? Messenger 就是信差或是送信人。那我们现在比较不需要 messenger 来帮助我们了，因为我们有很多的 Line 啦，或是 Facebook 啦这些可以通讯的东西。那如果呢，你看到的是 message， 有没有觉得跟 messenger 长得很像啊 ？Message 就是讯息了。So what's the bad news, Aaron? Okay, I'll see. Don't get sad. It's, oh, it's pretty sad news. It says, after getting caught in the factory's machines, Herbert has passed away. So Herbert、mm. got caught in the factory's machines. That's right. So he works at this factory. It's got lots of big machines. Maybe he wasn't being careful. Maybe he wasn't watching it well enough. But. His body got caught in the machine, so I don't want to talk about that too much. It's pretty gory,、mm -hmm. um, bloody. just in bloody. It's it's a big mess, so we're not gonna just let you know. It's not a very nice thing to see. So we'll just go on and we'll talk about pass away. Now this is a phrase, and we use it to say that somebody has died. Now we often use the phrase "pass away" when we want to tell someone some bad news. That is, as it is a bit nicer than just saying someone is dead. You know, you don't say, "Oh, your your son is dead." You would say, "I'm very sorry, your son has passed away." Right. For now, as an example, we could say, "I'm sorry to hear that your grandmother passed away last week." Pass away 这个片语是过世的意思。那比起你用 die 或是 dead 这些字来的礼貌许多、哦。So Herbert suggested his dad wish for two hundred pounds, and now he's dead. That's right. Morris was not lying. Well, Morris did say bad things would happen,、mm -hmm. but we haven't heard anything about the two hundred pounds yet. Where's the money?、Mm、hmm. So let's find out if. This is the wish coming true. It says here, as a gesture of goodwill, Herbert's boss has sent them—that's the Whites—a check 
worth two hundred pounds. So here's the money.、Mm, exactly two hundred pounds. Okay.、Mm-hmm. So we've been 看到 the goodwill. It's 善意 gesture. 它指的是表示善意的姿态或举止，所以呢，合在一起，我们就在解释的是呢 ，Herbert 的老板，他为了表示善意，给了他们家两百英镑的支票。They did get the money,、mm-hmm. but their son Herbert died. Exactly. I don't think they want the money now. Right. So this is what Morris was saying about those wishes. You might, your wish might come true, but bad things are going to happen. Do you really want that money now? Mm-mm. I wouldn't. No.、Mm. All right. Well, we're gonna skip ahead a few days, so you can imagine they have buried their son, and、um, you know he's he's in he's under the ground now, and they're just trying to move on with their life. But here, it says a few days after Herbert's death, Mrs. White orders her husband to wish Herbert back to life. She orders her husband. She、mm-hmm. asks her husband to do it.、Mm-hmm. Oh, I know it's hard for the family, but、mm-hmm. I don't think they should make another wish with the Paul. You know, the first one was so bad that I agree with you, Elsie. I like. I mean, if that wish was going to be that bad, how bad are more wishes、right. going to be? And this wish. This wish is about bringing a dead person back to life. That's a big wish.、Mm-hmm. So, okay, so what does Mr. Y say to that? Well, it says here, though he refuses at first, Mr. White eventually relents. Now, eventually, here is an adverb, and we use this adverb to say that a long time passes before something else happens, or a lot of things happened between one thing and another. So maybe she's ordering he, him for like a week, and he says no, 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 no. But finally, he gets so tired of this, he says, "Okay, fine." Okay, fine. Okay. I'll just、right. make a wish. All right. Well, here's another example. I didn't like that restaurant. I ordered my food at 5 p.m. and it eventually came at 5:50 p.m. Eventually, 这个副词呢，就是终于、最后的意思，代表前面经历了很多。Can we say finally instead? Sometimes, yes, yeah. Yes. Finally, would、okay. fit in that sentence. So, 呢，我们也可以用 finally 这个字来代换 Okay,、mm-hmm. so and here we see relents, right? That's right. He、relents. eventually relents. It means not to refuse again. It means being quite wrong, but I refuse. Mr. White agrees to wish for their dead son to come back to life, too. Hmm. Okay. So he makes the wish, Elsie.、Mm-hmm. Now. Remember when we said what happened to Herbert when he died, and we kind of talked about how it might have been a little bit messy. So, think about how that could go badly with this wish,、right. and just imagine that. And it says here, a few minutes later, they hear a loud bang on their door. Okay, so. We're kind of making things a little bit scary here. They a hear a bang.、Mm-hmm, they hear a bang. Now, a bang is a sudden, loud noise that you hear when one thing hits another thing very hard. So, what we're kind of saying here is that someone is kind of knocking on that door, but that knocking is so loud that it's a bang. For example, did you hear that bang? I think something hit our car. 我们这边这个单词 bang， 它在解释的就是砰的一声，有撞声词的感觉在。But who's at the door, Herbert? I mean, that's what the story is is telling us to imagine here. So is he back? I mean, we don't know right away,、uh. but let's find out what the article says. It says before Mrs. White can open it, that's the door. Mr. White grabs the paw and quickly makes another wish. So what he's doing here, he's grabbing the paw. Now this verb means that when you grab something, you quickly or suddenly take something in your hand. Now we often grab things when we are angry or trying to take something from someone else. As an example, we might say. The little boy grabbed the toy out of his sister's hand and ran out of the room. 
这边呢，我们看到 grab 这个动词是匆忙的抓取的动作。那过去式跟过去分词呢，重复作为 be 加上 ed 就可以了。We don't know what word she made, though. That's right. It doesn't、oh, tell us. Also, do we know what or who's at the door? We don't know yet. Okay, so we know something is at the door. It made a loud bang, but. Before Mrs. White opened the door to see what's there, she doesn't know yet. Mr. White makes another wish. Now we don't know what that wish is, but we can guess based on what says here in the article. It says, "Opening the door, Mrs. White finds nothing there." So, what wish do you think Mr. White made?、Mm. Oh, this is so exciting!、Mm -hmm. It's like a thriller movie. Exactly. Now, Elsie. The article doesn't tell us the wish that Mr. White made. It leaves it open for us to talk about. All we know is that Herbert did not come back to life. Oh, so we're not、mm -hmm. going to talk about the ending in our day three of our article? We no, we'll talk about the ending in day three, but we are not going to find out exactly what happens.、Oh, okay,、mm. so、and it's better that way, I think. We can imagine.、Mm -hmm. So we'll talk more about that in day three. It's pretty interesting, but before we do that, we have to go to our for you chat. For you chat. All right, our for you chat question today, Elsie, is what do you think happened between Mr. White's second and third wish? Please explain. So the second wish is、mm -hmm. to bring him back to life, to bring the son back to life. Right. The third wish is we don't know. We don't know, but we can guess that it's not to. Have Herbert at the door. I think between the two wishes,、mm -hmm. maybe Mr. White regrets、mm. making the second wish. I think so, so too. So he tries to, you know, make things better.、Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's that's. I think what the ending of the story is trying to make us guess. I, you know, it doesn't tell you. So this is just an opinion, but I think. If you don't believe in magic, I think something like a tree just banged on on the door and scared、oh, them.、Yeah. You know, but if you do believe in magic, maybe Herbert was actually standing at the door and he'd come back. You know, and he would have, if she had opened the door, maybe she would have seen a terrible, terrible thing. Right. So she was the one.、Uh, he was the one that's knocking at the、mm -hmm. door. Maybe, maybe we don't know exactly. Well. We are going to talk more about this ending in day three of our article, so we'll see you again then. Stay tuned for tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye. The monkey's paw. The next day, Herbert suggests that his father wish for two hundred pounds. That's the exact amount Mr. White needs to finish paying off his house. Foolishly, Mr. White ignores Morris's warning. When nothing happens, though, the Whites think that Morris made the story up. Disappointed, Herbert leaves for work at the factory. Later, there's a stranger standing outside the Whites' door. Inviting the guest in, Mrs. White wonders if he has come to grant her husband's wish. The man. A messenger from the factory has bad news. However, after getting caught in the factory's machines, Herbert has passed away. As a gesture of goodwill, Herbert's boss has sent them a check worth two hundred pounds. A few days after Herbert's death, Mrs. White orders her husband to wish Herbert back to life, though he refuses at first. Mr. White eventually relents. A few minutes later, they hear a loud bang on their door. Before Mrs. White can open it, Mr. White grabs the paw and quickly makes another wish. Opening the door, Mrs. White finds nothing there. Vocabulary review. Ignore. 
People are really angry that the government totally ignored the majority of the population in the past few months. Warning. Andrea received a warning from her teacher for cheating on the exam. Messenger. Donna always acts as a messenger between her parents every time they have a fight. Eventually. Joe's cancer is serious, but we all believe that he will recover eventually. Bang. As we were arguing, my brother ran out of the room and closed the door with a loud bang. Grab. Ali was late for work, so he had to grab his breakfast at a grocery store.